The winning bid fee is 480V, I will send you the amount excluding it. Ho oh, ho ho, man! It actually worked! It actually worked for once! Wow! What a day, what a day! Gonna get some socks up on the showcase for like... 11.55. Get a, those are still the socks, get the score up for... Like... 2,875. Hi. You look already tired, but let's not forget to catch criminals, alright? Is that our job now? Are we the police? This is what I'm trying to sell. It took me a mort of money to get. Okay. A pretty colored... So this is from Async, allegedly. Let's take a look at that. Async await. Async await. A meaningful wait. Okay. So this is from 2046. So its products for 2048 are rare. Let's make sure it's the right material first. This seems to be made of AA Lab leather. Which I will keep to myself. Uh, it's rare. Great. Now, in terms of this... Yeah, fairly damaged is about right. Uh, so we already... This is from 2046, but that doesn't really have an effect. It's got the signature of a jeweler. Interestingly enough. Okay, overall, pretty good. Pretty good item. I can offer you... 550 for it. Seriously? You can make me a higher offer than that. Okay, fine, fine. 580. You drive a hard bargain, I'm willing to give you a good price. This is impressive. I didn't really think I could get more. Well, I'm full of surprises today, aren't I? The androgen score by Gong on the showcase. How much is it? Uh, it's not too expensive. 2875. That's good. I'll take it. Thank you. Actually, we'll save the bag, because we're going to want to get it repaired. Yeah. Hello. Since I'm not an expert, I don't know its details, but you're an expert. You can find something, right? Quite possibly. What is this? A vase? Um... More is more. Okay, so this is from a potter. It's abroad when Fixed Rain came down in 2079. Okay. So he's still alive. Okay. So it's got the signature of an artist. Uh, there we go. Now, when was this from? This is from 2063. This man's heyday was from 2053 to 2071, so this would be a work of art. A work of art during one's prime. Uh, in terms of condition, sir, it's in perfect condition, I'm happy to say. Uh, that should about do it. What's the material? Clay? We already knew that. No gems, obviously. Okay, I can offer you a solid 2020. Or 220, rather. Not 2020, that would be a bit ridiculous. Okay. Not bad. I wonder, could we, like, sell it at the auction? Wouldn't that be fun? Like, the auction works once, and now I just want another hit, you know? You want the Nightingale socks? 11.55v. That's good, I'll take it. Great. Bought it at 19, sold it at 11.55. I'm loving life right now. And I guess the porcelain vase will be front and center. Like, we ought to be having something for sale on the showcase. There's no one outside the window, is there? Not presently. Yes, you would like to sell something. What exactly is it you're trying to sell me? Happy Tears of Cats. Okay, well, let's take a look at this. It is... 
I guess fairly damaged is a decent enough assessment. This is a signature of... I think an artist, probably. It's you. Painter! Oh, it became a fixie recently. So... It's got the signature of an artist. But then also, it should then be... A deceased artist, because they got fixed. Uh, it's made of paper. From 2073. Okay. Alright, in that case, uh... You want 73V for it? Sure! <laughs> uh, I'd say your service was not bad. Thanks. You really should, like, let me have the time to actually utilize my expertise before giving me your offer. 1450 should be reasonable for it. Although, actually, we should repair this, right? Because it's, uh... Fairly damaged. Okay, we'd have to go to repair that. Got two items to repair. My ex gave it to me some time ago. I think you can kind of tell me how much this is worth. Okay. Alright, we'll start with the gem. Okay. Rubies. What's the material? 14 karat yellow gold, as you knew, of course. Got the signature of a jeweler on it. I'll keep that to myself for now. Alright, now in terms of the brand, so this is Queen of Hearts. Is there. Where's the slogan? Um. There's no slogan here. Okay. Well then, that means it's not Queen of Hearts for real, but we, we can sell knockoffs. Slight the damage, yeah, that's about right. For 2076, nothing of note happened. Okay, uh... And I can offer you, like... 550 for it? Alright, and thanks for finding me every detail so kindly. It's a nice piece, it's just not, uh, the brand she thought it was. We'll see if we can sell for 13.45. How much is the porcelain vase for four persons? 13.50. That's good, I'll take it. Glad to hear, glad to hear. Well, hello there. I hope you're not one of those who report randomly. I met one of them and it was a nightmare. I imagine it would have been. Sorry to hear about that, ma'am. A priceless item, eh? I'll be the judge of that. And it's, it looks to me like it's just a Besh watch. Like, I mean, they're valuable, but priceless is going a bit far. Besh never a hesitate whore. Besh never a hesitate whore. Okay, let's start by looking at the movements. Um... I, so it's a quartz movement. Hold on. So Besh uh -huh, uses mechanical movements. So this is a basic model, actually, because it's the quartz movements. It's also unpopular because it doesn't have an engraving. Lucky for you, it uses cowhide. Uh, okay. For 2077, I don't think that has anything to do with Fixer 1.0. Um. For 2077, I'd say that's only slightly damaged, but I'll keep that info to myself. Okay. In that case, I can offer you, like... 135. The price is already low, can't you just give me 210? Okay, look, I'll be kind to you, I'll give you 170 for it, but this is really taking a lot from me to offer. 
Why do you look so greedy if I accept that right away? Will you make the same offer one more time? Okay, would you like 20 or 170? I'll take your offer. Thanks for your favor. Okay. I guess we'll see if we can get 425 for it. Good morning, first repair. Yes, I've got some items to repair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would like to repair this artwork and this bag. I can fix your painting, Happy Tears of Cat, right away. Okay. And I can fix your pretty color shoulder bag right away. Gracias, senor. 396? That's a lot, but I think it'll be worth it. All right, it's done. Thank you. Let's get him on the display. All right, this can sell, wow, for like 2,900. And this could sell for 3,050. There we go. It is my birthday present. Can you please tell me how much this is worth? I can try. Ah, we've seen this artwork so many times already. This is made of wood. You already knew that. Okay, it's got the signature of this guy. Okay, he's dead. So you're an artist, right? Artist who, if we look at the artwork, is considered dead. I've, I haven't found anything. Don't you worry. Perfect condition might be a stretch. But I'll let it slide, because we can get more money if we sell it in perfect condition. It's for 2062. I don't think this has anything to do with the Fair Shred Commission. Um, so, I can offer you, like, 200. What? You, you, okay, fine. It's It's got the signature of an artist, alright? Okay, now I've got to offer you like 440. Alright, and thanks for finding me every detail so kindly. Yes, and thanks to GeForce for giving me an overlay which I never actually want to use. It's painting Happy Tears of a Cat on the showcase. How much is it? 2,900 V. That's good, I'll take it. Glad to hear. Okay. I mean, I guess we should sell this for like. After, I bet we could get 4,000 for it. Welcome to the top of the showcase. Um, hi. Can you tell me how expensive this will be? Possibly. Can I get a full price even if I have only one earring? Mmm, it's from Queen of Hearts, but. Yeah, sorry. Can't get full price with one earring. Okay, um, so... It's got the right signature, at least. So you got, say, uh, an artist, or not an artist, a jeweler. Which I'll note to there. Uh, let's take a look at the gem. Okay, that's a decent cut of ruby. Now, if we look at the condition... Yeah, that's slightly damaged. If we look at the material, that is... That's yellow gold, which is not as good as white gold, unfortunately. Uh, that should about do it. 2058. I can offer you 800. Would you please make me a higher offer than that? Alright, I can offer you 850. How about that? Uh, let me think. 900, last offer. Did anything about me intimidate you? I was about to accept your last offer. Oh. Well, darn. It's fine. We can still sell it for double. Uh, for like 1940.
There's some bracelet on the showcase. How much is it? It's not too expensive. Uh, only thirteen forty-five. Sounds reasonable. I'll take it. Okay. Guess we'll take it off the showcase. Boom. Hi, how's your day? Fine, I suppose. I'd like to show you something. It's not very valuable, but nice. It's not the Bunker Freedom, but it's a valuable tool. Of course it is. Okay, um... So who's this by? Okay, oh yeah, the Young Dog. Okay, so you've got the signature of an artist. And... Is he dead? I forget. Young Doc? He's dead. Okay, so you got a deceased artist, so let's get that artwork. Deceased artist. There we go. How's this really valueless? Okay, ma'am, if any, like, hmm. I'd say that's only slightly damaged. Here, it's got the signature of an artist. And it's only slightly damaged. Okay. Let's actually get one of those going. Um, hmm. In that case, all that being known, I can offer you like 40. Would you like that? Alright, I won't ask for more. Without your help, I wouldn't have realized its actual value. Yeah, so much more valuable than you thought. Eh. Uh. And actually, we're going to save this out auction it. I'd like to buy the wooden sculpture. We are brothers over there. How much is it? And even 4,000. You won't find a better deal this side of Junuk, let me tell you. Sounds reasonable. I'll take it. Go. Have gotten a very good deal today, ma'am. Hi. I bought an item which was very priceless. Eh, I'll try to put a price on it. People always say that about their watches. This is SAS. A SAS. Where? There you go. So is that? Uh, it's not, those aren't gems. Okay, they're not. All right, let's look at the motion. So it's a quartz. Okay. So if we look at SAS, uh, it uses its only its own. In quartz engraved with SAS, which means this must then be. Th this must be a newly replaced move. Oh, you already knew that. Okay. Um. 2079. What material is this? That must be one of their, uh. One of their specific materials. Ah, uh, yes, SAS steel, which you already knew about, of course. But, yeah, that's slightly damaged in my book. Ah, uh, no signature. And I, like, yeah, so it's not a collaboration. Let's see if there's anything else to know about the brand. His product's quality have gone, so since 79, this is from 79. So is that an inclusive sense or an exclusive sense? I'll assume inclusive. So popularity's gone up, but it's superstitious. So popularity's gone up, but it's also superstitious. Okay. Mm, let's see, I can offer you 600 for it. Mm, but I need more. Okay, I'm not generally this generous, but 630 I think would be reasonable. I don't think that's enough. 700, this is the best I can do. Okay, fine, you called my bluff. I can give you 720, but that's it! Good. Who would turn it down? Exactly. And that guy was a tough negotiator. Uh, we can sell this for 11.30. The best time to wake up? <laughs> That's a joke. Oh, just a leather watch. 4.25. That's good. I'll take it. Wasn't that the watch that the person described as priceless? Like, come on, it's not, not even really particularly valuable. Uh, hi. Uh, can I sell this? 
Nelson Mandela's shoes, eh? They're made of... Faux leather? You thought this was PVC? Okay, you're, you're weird, but alright. So we're going to say that that is a great figure in world history. If we look at the dates, yep, 1998, that is of archaeological value. Uh, if we look at the condition... That is... I'm sorry to say that, they're of no value. But uh, hopefully we can repair it. Um, I think that's about all we can gleam from this. Look, buddy, I can give you a six for it. Would you please make me a higher... Look, ten is more than they're actually worth. So... I appreciate it. I didn't expect much. Well, you, you didn't get much either. So let's definitely repair these. Oh, just a pretty colored shoulder bag. 30, 50. They don't see the reason to buy it for that price. All right, well, what price would you buy it at? 29.95. I can accept that. Thanks. What a good buy. Sold, sold, put that there. Alright, so we're auctioning the score and we're repairing the shoes. Good morning, first repair. Do you have anything to request for repair? Please show me if you do. Of course, um... I've got these shoes. I can fix your very old shoes right away. 103V, that is perfectly fine. Thank you. All right, it's done. Great, the people should hopefully love it. Hidden V, all right. I had luck with you before. We'll see if I have luck with you again. I would like to auction off this score. Thank you, let me check for a minute. Hmm. All right, let me put this on the waiting list. Okay, 300 V. Of course, I will pay for that. Hopefully we get a good uh, commission on that. To get, for this to have been worth it, we need to make in excess of 3,000 V, that's for sure. Like, 3,400. Let's go. Okay. Starting price, 2,600. Okay. 2,600. Is there a 2,600? All right, now press the 2600 V. 2900, is there a 2900? Now press the 2900. Do I see 4000 V? 4000 V. 4000 V, thank you. Do I see 6500? 6500, going once. Oh, there we go, 6500 V. Do I see 10,500 V? Going once? Going twice? Ooh, we are now 10,500 V. Do I see 16,000? 16,000. Going once, going twice. 10,500 V sold! Wow. Okay, did I just have, like, the worst luck with auctions before? Because these are going amazingly, so... The, in this challenge. Okay, yeah, 10,500 V. Wow. Congratulations, that last bid was so lucky. The winning bid is... Fee is 840. Thank you. Gracias, senorita. All right, all right. Let's get the shoes on the showcase. I'm sure they're very valuable now. Okay, somewhat valuable now. Uh, we could probably sell them for twenty-one forty. Hi, how's your day? Take a deep breath before I show you what I brought. Oh, your store will shine as much as this necklace if you put it on the showcase. Well, well, well. What if it shines too bright for customers to come in? No, oh, that's quite the concern. And please hurry. Okay, well, let's see. It's a real gem. Okay, great. Um, hold on, hold on. I need to look at the condition. It's in perfect condition. Great. Uh, material, that is indeed the white gold, I believe. No, that's silver, actually. That This is silver. This is made of silver. Which, uh, so if we look at the brand, I presume this is Oz. Yep, Emeralds of Oz. Wait a minute, you, you're using the wrong brand. That, that is the incorrect material. Um... 
So this is actually uh, wrong material for an Emeralds of Oz. They only use the, the gold, not the, not the silver. Uh, so in that case, uh, it does have the correct signature at least, which I will note to myself. Uh, 2073. Okay, I think that's all we can really gleam here. I can offer you eight, here, 900. 900 V. 900 V. It's a good deal. It's a good deal. But look, the price has gone down too much. Why don't you give... I can give you an even thousand. You know that's absurd. No? 1100? Look, it's really not worth what you thought it was. I'm sorry to say. Ma'am. Ma'am. Okay, thank you. Well, you know what? You didn't expect to have, like, a, uh, a knockoff product, did you? And it's it's still a nice-looking necklace, I'll give you that, but it's it's not of the brand that uh, you thought it was, unfortunately. The watch is something I fix these on the showcase. How much is it? Not much. Okay, yeah, 1130, that's something. Reasonable price? Glad you think so. Okay, get out of here. Hi, wait, did you just press the button? Sorry, I was if I was too sensitive. Yeah, what what do you have for me? Uh, can I sell this? Possibly. Oh, Einstein's spoon, eh? 11V. Hold on a second, let me appraise this first. Alright, it's from 1895, so it is of archaeological value. Uh, additionally... Let's look at the signature. Yep, that's gonna be an Einstein. Great figure in world history. Great. And in terms of the condition... I'd call that slightly damaged, honestly. So actually, here, it's of archaeologic value, I'll tell you that, and I'll tell myself it's only slightly damaged. Okay, um... Anything else? What is this material? Is this glass? Oh, no, this is silver. It's made of silver, ma'am. Yeah, I know you want 11V. Okay, uh, sure, I will offer you. I'll accept your offer of 11V. Anyway, I made it. Well then. I did that one well. We got Einstein's spoon in here, which we're going to sell for 2860. The ruby earring on the showcase, how much is it? Uh, 1940? It's a nice earring, it's only the one, but you know, you can do cool stuff with it. Okay. Who's next? Uh, hi. Good to see it's open, I was worried you might not work. Um, could you buy this off of me? I can try cup that Gandhi used. Gandhi. Okay, well, let's see. 1935, that's about the right time frame for Gandhi. It's definitely of archaeological value. Signature, yeah, that can be a Gandhi. Um, great. Now, in terms of the condition of the item, yeah, fairly damaged is right on the money. In terms of the material, yep, that's clay. We already looked at the signature, we already looked at that. Um, Okay. I can offer you, like... Look, I'll offer you 8, V. Okay, yeah. There you go. I forgot that the currency was called Vanas. <laughs> uh, I don't think we're gonna have time to repair, so we'll just try to sell it for 350. Got all sorts of cool items. Very old items on the showcase right now. The very old shoes on the showcase. How much is it? Uh, it's like two something, I think. Yeah, twenty-one forty. Good. I expected so much. I'll take it. Thank you. Thank you for your business. All right, so we're going to be buying like two more items, and then we got to sell stuff. Uh, hi. 
Good to see it's open. I was worried you might not work. What do you got for me? I found this at home. How much can I get for it? Ah, I made it for Halloween. It's in high quality. You can take a look at my autograph there. Oh, yep, that's your autograph, all right. Uh, I don't know whose autograph this is. The autograph on it doesn't match anything on my list. It's unidentifiable. Okay, sorry, I didn't erase that. Okay, well, you already told me it was Cubic Ziana, so... I mean, it's in perfect condition. I'll be honest, like... Okay, is that velvet? You didn't know your own thing was made of velvet? Okay, um... That's... Uh, you made this in 2020? How old are you? Um... I already looked at that. So... Now the question is, is this good art? That's not where I want to be. Artwork. Uh, I'd say this might be a poor piece, honestly. <laughs> Stop talking nonsense. Okay, okay, fine. Look, it's in perfect condition, just so you know. I'd say it's a fine piece. <laughs> That's a... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you, you made it, uh, so I'm sure you're a very objective uh, judge of that. I can give you 224s. That's what I expected. Can you offer me a bit more? I can offer you 225 for it. Thank you. I didn't really think you'd give me more. Well, life's full of surprises. Occasionally, they're positive. Occasionally. I'd like to buy the cup that God used it, but how much is it? Sir, it can be yours for the low, low price of 350V. That's good, I'll take it. Okay, guess we'll put- well, you know what, let's not put the mask on the showcase yet, because I really want to make sure we sell these high ticket items, big ticket items first. Can you take a look at this? Hmm, an SAS, eh? What? You don't make- need to make a lie here in Darcy's. Okay, anyways, so, SAS. Let's look at the material first, this is- Oh, I think this is the Casual Catastrophe collaboration. Must be. Let's look at the Casual Catastrophe. Yes, this is their material. Premium horse leather, as you already knew, of course. So now we go back to SAS. So SAS, proudly from Mindelisia. SAS, proudly from Mindelisia. Great. Um, let's look at the motion. It's a quartz. It's a newly replaced movement, of course. Um... I don't know where you got this idea, it's valueless. I mean, I call that, I'll call it fairly damaged just to be on the safe side, but it's not valueless, that's for sure. Who's this? Current leader of the civic group? Okay, so this is an activist. Great, I'll take note of that. Um, so I already checked that. Oh, we haven't applied the brand cards yet, so. So it's a limited edition. With uh, so this is a collaboration with Casual Catastrophe. So since 79, this is from 72, so we don't need to worry about that whole deal. Okay, I can offer you like 100 for it, maybe like 110. You're trying to play hardball, I see. Just give me 174 then. I'll accept that. That was it wasn't that bad a deal, huh? Okay, let's put it on the showcase. It's of decent value. Let's see if we can get 1200 for it. And I guess we'll put the mask on. Let's see if we can get 390 for that. All right, can we sell through four items before the day's up? The Einstein Spoon on the showcase, how much is it? It can be yours for only 2860V. That's quite much for this. Is it? 
45, 61. Fine. I'll, I'll give it to you for that price. You're welcome. It was not the best offer in the world, but I'll take what I can get. The day's almost over, after all. Okay, get something else on there. We'll get the necklace on the showcase now. I'd like to buy the improved mask of Plague Doctor over there. How much is it? Eh, we're selling that for 390 I think. It's a good price, I'd say. It's a fine piece, arguably. Okay. This SAS watch, as beautiful as snakes on the showcase. How much is it? That one's 1200 1200 V. Very good price. It's a limited edition. Okay. Can we get one more person in here? One more, one more. One more? Yes, one more. Alright, thank you. How much is the luxury necklace? Luxury necklace. Ah, 2070. Sounds reasonable. I'll take it. There we go. Started at 4,000, got our monies up to like 44,000. Alright, so we got 44,385. No inventory remaining. We appraised how much? 26 perfect appraisals, that's not bad. We made 27 great purchases. How many great sales? 29 great sales. Feats, we did not buy all, we did sell all. We weren't a master appraiser. We were a master haggler. Okay, wow, so we got 290,000 V. Nice. I wish I could uh, see directly here how that compared to what we've done previously. So yeah, I think you really want to get all of the uh, bonuses if you want success there. But yeah, we were placed number 56 this time. That's not bad. Alright, well, anyways, guys, that's been more No Umbrellas Allowed, and, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to doing yet another challenge, maybe increasing the score even further. If we can get all four multipliers, though, oh, man, the score would be huge. Anyways, hopefully that happens soon.